welcome back to my channel. My name is Elia for those of you who are new here. So I'm going for a quick two day trip to Las Vegas and I thought I would bring you guys along to how I pack, things that I take. A lot of these tips and tricks that I do are things that I would use for longer trips and quick trips. So I thought I would just make kind of like a video. I always feel like I'm rushing when I'm packing, but I have a couple of hours. So I thought I would just record myself, how I pack, my kind of routine that I do on travel days. Like I'm very, I'm very into the travel routine, like from the outfit to the bags to everything that I bring. And I love, I love packing and I love like planning things out. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Before we get this video started, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get packing. Starting off with what I like to bring on my carry-on. This is the base weekender bag mini. So there's the regular size, which is a little bit bigger, which is kind of meant for like, if a real two day trip, but I'm so extra. And this is just the mini. This is what I bring with me on my all of my flights. I went to Cancun, I went to Florida, LA, and now I'm going to Vegas with this. I was dreaming about this bag so for so long because I love that it has the detachable lower part. Now, the difference between the mini and the regular size, other than it's smaller, is this is detachable. So for this trip, I'm not going to be bringing the bottom half because I just don't need it. But for instance, when I went to Cancun and I was there for a week, I definitely brought it because I was able to bring extra shoes or if I bought something extra, like I can always stuff it in there. And it's just like that nice comfort knowing like, just in case I will have space and I don't have to buy another bag. So like I said, it detaches. I love it so much. I love base in general. I just love the aesthetic of it and it is definitely an investment, but it is just worth every penny. So here is what the detachment looks like. It has this nice mesh material and then you can unzip so you can put shoes, clothes, makeup, whatever you want to bring in here, then you're good to go with this. I also love that it has this long strap because it is actually very, very helpful when you're like running through an airport. If you check your bag, this is nice to have, cute, and it fits perfectly under the seat. So you can put it over the, like overhead, but I always just, I like to have my stuff with me at all times. And just because I bring all my goodies and snacks and all that fun stuff. I also love that it like opens up kind of like a medicine bag. So you can just like open it up and see everything you have and need in your life. So I kind of always constantly keep this bag filled with just things that I usually travel with. Usually when I get back from a trip, I won't really take too much of, out of it. But now this bag, I actually just got from Target. It's super cute. It was like $11 and this is my makeup bag. I always bring my makeup with me and an extra set of clothes if I'm checking in a bag. But even if I'm not checking in a bag, like today I'm taking a carry on I still bring extra underwear, like a sports bra and some leggings or something like that so that just in case, I don't know. You never know, okay? Like I've had some moments where I'm like, I wish I had extra shorts or something like of the sort. But this is my makeup bag. It's so cute, I love the mauve color. So this is where I'll, I'll put all my makeup with me and it's just so helpful. So my trainer actually put me on to this little device here that I'm about to show you. It's a miniature fan. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to Vegas and it's 110 degrees there. So I got this off of Amazon because I was like, I need it and it goes faster. So you can adjust the setting and then it just closes up super cute like that. And it's like a little bunny and then you can just charge it. It also has a flashlight. Random, I feel, but okay. You never know when you need a flashlight. We'll come back to the organization of my carry-on bag. I just wanted to show you guys like how it works. Next, I'm gonna show you the base carry-on luggage that I'm going to be taking. So this is the base carry-on luggage that I use for every trip. I love it so much. It has a lock on the side, has zippers. I love the color. I love it, I love the color. Definitely an investment, but I just, I like my things a certain way and aesthetically pleasing, so that's, I would highly, highly recommend. I also love that if you need an extra space, it has an extra zipper and it expands. So this really saved me and it goes all the way around, but um, this really saved me when I was in Cancun and there for a week. And even though I was traveling pretty light, 
I was traveling back with things that I had bought and that was so helpful, it gives that extra stretch and you can still take it with you on the plane because we did not check bags when we went to Cancun and I'm also going to Mexico City next month so I just wanna make sure I always have my bags with me because you never know when you're traveling anywhere, US, Mexico, Europe, and it's just so helpful. Also having the lock is really, really helpful so only TSA can open it. You know, they have a special key for that so I should probably take this off but you know, it's fine. <laughs> So one thing that I like to do is actually plan my outfits, especially if I'm only going for one or two days, or at least have outfit ideas that are interchangeable. So I like to lay out all of my clothes, kind of like see it in front of me so that I'm not packing too much extra and that like anything I take, I can like interchange with other things. So I'll show you. So as you can see, I'm taking one pair of shorts, two skirts. I'm bringing these just in case we go out to dinner or out, anything like that. I'm bringing a simple tank top. I'm bringing these kind of like legging pants. They're so cute, they're from H&M. I showed them in my last haul because I know I'm gonna have a studio session. So I'm gonna wear this with like a white tank top that I'm wearing right now and then this cardigan because it gets cold in the studio. I'm also bringing two workout outfits. So just two shorts and two tank tops. These are both all from Amazon. I love them because they are just like a solid workout outfit that I don't have to worry about and I don't look too scandalous in. Then, oh, that's my phone. And then I have a pair of shorts and three little tank tops that again, I could wear as an outfit, but I'm mostly gonna wear these to sleep. I'm bringing this purse. I just usually like to bring one purse unless I know I'm gonna be out and about in other ways. Pair of sandals, just in case I go to the pool, but I also like to wear these in the hotel. I don't know why, I'm just used to it. My chunky sandals that I pretty much wear with like any outfit and then my Air Force Ones which I will actually be wearing on the plane so they don't take up extra space. I know I will be traveling in this. I also always travel like I will probably be wearing this but this is just a cute little jacket that I'm gonna be wearing. I always bring a jacket anywhere I go like even if it's super light, even if it's to Cancun, even if I know it's gonna be 110 degrees which it is in Vegas because Inside of places, it's always cold, and at the airport, it's always cold, and I just cannot, I can't live like that. I can't, I really can't. So this is my handy dandy cosmetics bag. I love it because it fits so many things and I've tried so many different bags to fit like my hair care, my skin care, toothbrush, and some cotton balls. And then down here I just have my razor, some tampons, and then under eye patches because I love to wear these in the mornings no matter where I go or travel to. But I love this one because it just, fits everything and it has a hook so you can hang it in your bathroom wherever you go and it just literally it's amazing it's just my favorite thing ever fits so compact like usually you would think that everything would be sticking out but it's amazing so I have my sandals here I have all my clothes packed and then I just fit it in right here perfect amount of space I love it Okay, sorry if I keep changing in this video. I'm just like trying out outfits and thinking like, I wanna pack this and I wanna take that. So I'm just like all over the place in my outfits. But I thought it'd be easiest to show you guys laid out what I have in my base weekender bags just so you can see like what I bring. This is basically I carry with me on the plane like in my purse, like in my personal purse. So I have my little stand for my camera, a couple of pens, notepad, hand sanitizer. This is the little fan. This is a tripod, Clorox wipes, of course, very necessary for the plane. I have some sunscreen, lotion. I also have this sunscreen that I just got. It's like a body stick because I just, you always have to have sunscreen. Have some vitamins in here, hair clip, mini hairbrush, and this is the brush that I bring. It's so much easier. Some ibuprofen, just because you never know. Some snacks, I will definitely be bringing more snacks, but this is just what was already in my bag. My makeup bag, which I'm obsessed with this color, okay. And my headphones, of course, and then a sunglasses case to protect whatever sunglasses I bring. And I'll probably also bring 
some blue light glasses as well. So I'll put those there so I don't forget those. But that's pretty much everything important that goes in my bag. <laughs> So everything I just showed you fits into this cute little bag. This is the same one as the makeup bag. It's just a different pattern. Also got that from Target. And I just fit it in. I love that this opens like a medicine bag. So I fit it into this corner right here. Got my sunglasses, easy access. And then what I would usually do is put my makeup bag here and have my water bottle and be good to go. But because I have so much extra space in my suitcase, I'm going to put my makeup bag in my suitcase this time so that I just carry less on my shoulders. So this is everything packed. I have my shoes, sandals, cosmetics bag, my T3 hair curler. I just bring this big round brush and then everything packed. And again, I love these straps because you can tighten them to kind of keep everything in place. And then I have my underwear, bra, and a swimsuit just in case I have time to go to the pool. Flip everything over. And I am ready to go. Now there's another thing that I very much love about traveling and that is a travel outfit. So this flight that I'm taking is only an hour and a half. So it's not really like long haul craziness, like super extreme comfort. I do like to be comfortable on flights. I do like to be warm on flights. Usually I would wear leggings, athleisure, some sort of set, you know, that's always cute. But since it's such a short flight and it is going to be 109 degrees, I'm wearing kind of more of a normal outfit and I'm going straight to the studio when I get to Las Vegas. So I'm just kind of like, I am comfortable, but still like presentable in a sense that I'm not wearing athleisure, but I'm very comfortable. So I'm just wearing some Levi denim shorts, super comfortable, my Air Force Ones. I'm wearing just this cute little cropped one shoulder tank top. I'm not wearing a bra with it, so that's extra comfort. And then this jacket from Princess Polly. This is kind of like a basic outfit that I would wear. And I think I will do a whole like video on like different airport outfits because one of my favorite things to do. Okay, let's quickly discuss snacks. Now, when traveling, depending on where you're going, I, for instance, this is more of a work trip for me than it is vacation, enjoy, you know, all the cuisines and restaurants and things like that. So for this purpose, I like to bring snacks, my own food. I know we're gonna be in the studio for about 12 hours, but even if you're just having a travel day, I would highly suggest doing this. So, I just made a meal prep. I just have some vegetables and some chicken and avocado that I didn't want to go bad since I'm gonna be only gone for two days, but I'd rather just eat it for dinner tonight. My flight is at 6.30, I land at 7.30, and just in case I wanna have food. And I feel like Vegas is really weird on food. Like, there's no good, healthy, fast food, if that makes sense. It's all like wine and dine, like super fancy, or like McDonald's. So there's no in between with Vegas. Um, so I always like to at least bring one meal prep for the day that I'm traveling, especially if I just get hungry at the airport or right when I land, I can just heat this up. The only bad thing is that there is no, um, the only bad thing is that there is no microwave at Vegas hotels. They do that on purpose. But since I know I'm going to the studio, I can just heat that up there. I'm also going to bring some rice cakes. I love these organic cinnamon toast rice cakes. I get these at Sprouts. I'm gonna bring some almond butter. This will kind of be like a breakfast snack or maybe just a snack at the studio. So I'm gonna bring several of these. I got these at Target, but you can get these almost anywhere. I'm gonna bring the one protein bars. These are my favorite. I love these so, so much. I'm also gonna bring an espresso instant coffee because Sometimes you just want a coffee instantly as opposed to paying $9 for a latte at Starbucks in Vegas specifically. I know this, I've traveled there so many times so I know how it is. I'm also bringing some throat coat tea because I'm gonna be recording. I'm sure they have tea at the studio but I always just like to have some in my bag just in case my voice hurts. That's pretty much all the snacks that I'm gonna take with me for this trip just because it's such a quick trip and I know that it will for sure have lunch and dinner so I don't have to worry too much about supplying all of my own meals. 
Also wanna mention that I always, always bring a water bottle with me on any trip, flight, car, plane, train, anywhere we go, I'm, I have a water bottle with me. And the reason I love these simple modern water bottles, which is what I get on Amazon or Target, I will link it down below, is because it keeps the water at the same temperature that you put it in and I'm, all about that, especially because a lot of the time I leave this in a hot car, and then when I drink from it, it's like nice, refreshed water, so that's amazing. But I always bring it, I always dump it out, obviously, before I go through TSA, and then I just refill it. Every airport has a refillable water bottle station, so you can't go wrong, and you save like six bucks on a water bottle. I also can't stand like the tiny little cups that they give you on the plane when you're like so parched and just so dehydrated, so water bottle must need so change of plans i'm actually going to take this bag instead of the other bag that i showed previously um, just because it's a little smaller but it still fits the same amount of things and i'm going to show you guys that i just have my wallet in here this is just a small little wallet i got from target i want to get a new one because that one's overstuffed i have a protein bar of course i have my little infallible foundation powder I have two different colors of lipsticks that I pretty much wear every single day. And it is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cool Girl. And then I also have one in Queen Bee. So this one's just a little more pink. And then Cool Girl is the one that I'm actually wearing right now. I also bring like a little perfume that I got from Zara. There's a bunch of different versions of these if you have a specific perfume that you like. My Aquaphor, oh, I cannot live without my Aquaphor guys. Like every five seconds this is me <laughs> especially on a plane because you get so dehydrated and people don't even understand and then i also have these little headphones um that i bring as well other than just like having my over the ear ones just in case i just want to take these to the gym instead or just have them in my ear and then of course a mask i haven't shown like any mask but i'm actually i actually like to take like four or five different masks just in case I lose one, one gets dirty, you know how it is with the mask. So I have just like a packet of white ones that I got from Amazon, go with every outfit, every mood, every moment, and they're easy to just have in your bag. Oh, and of course my sunglasses, but usually these are my head or I'm wearing them until I get to the airport and then I'll just put them in here or I'll put them in their case in my bigger bag. So as far as jewelry, like when traveling, I like to be very minimal or unless like I have it planned with a specific outfit, like I definitely took a lot more jewelry when I went to Cancun because I was like trying to be a moment. But because this is just a more of a work trip for me, I'm just wearing my gold hoops from Amazon. I'm wearing this uh, chain from Amazon as well that has my letter E. And then I have this other necklace that I'm wearing this one was actually from a farmer's market vendor that I got it from, so I don't have like a link to it, but I will link something similar. I always wear my Apple Watch, and then I have a little scrunchie because I just always want to put my hair up whenever I feel like it. And then I'm wearing like one ring. <laughs> I might pack a few like other rings, but like this is kind of just like to have one. I also got this one at a farmer's market, so can't really link it, but I will link something very similar. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to go. I did change the bag, the purse that I'm gonna be bringing to this little one, very similar. And you might be asking, wait, aren't you only allowed two bags, aka these two, on the plane? Well, yes, but the perfect thing about this bag and the base bag is that it fits perfectly. My trick for that is basically just putting this purse inside of the base bag and it's fine i can get away with it because this will be on my shoulder and it'll be fine and then once i get out of the plane i can just take it right out and have everything i need every trip kind of varies but basically if i was packing more outfits i would have just planned more outfits and i definitely had enough room for that especially with the extra space on the base bag but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see more videos like this give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel i'm gonna head to the airport now take my time go through tsa do all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys and i'll see you soon